The supplies you'll need include styrofoam or foam padding, felt cloth, wire, a felting needle, string, any kind will do, but I prefer cooking string. The fur you're going to use, this is alpaca, and scissors and a pair of pliers. Alright, the first step after you organize your supplies is to make the outline of the animal you want to make. In this case, I'm making a dog, so here it is. It's simple, it's just like drawing a stick figure dog if that's what you, that's what you need to vision when you make it. So, to start this, this is the final product. To start that, you just take your wire and you just make the simple outline shape. Now, I like making mine real perfect just because I feel like the closer it is, the easier it will be, but it's really not that big of a deal because you will eventually be covering the entire thing. So I start with the body, and I get the head, the neck, the back, and then I make a little bend where the tail is. Then next, you get another piece of wire, and simply find the length of the leg you want, make a quick bend, and then spin it around until you have another bend of the same, or another length the same size with a nice little circle in there that you can slide right onto the dogs, and you cut it to size. Alright, the next step is to take your felt cloth and to cut it into strips that are easy to work with. Not too thin, not too thick, it kind of depends on the size of the dog, just something easy to work with. So you're going to take it and you're going to just start at the either end, the tail, the nose, doesn't matter, and just wrap it around like a mummy, a little mummy dog. Real easy, not too tight, not too loose, just so it'll have so just so the felt will have something to stick to later. Now, when you get to the shoulders, go down one of the legs, nice and easy. Don't worry too much about the foot; just kind of leave it, and then. You can cut it, cut the rest of it, and then this is where you bring in the string. I use cooking string, real simple. It's cloth. It's kind of the 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 felt sticks to it too, so it really helps. And then I do the same thing with this. I just start wherever I left off and I just wrap it around so then it's covered in string and felt strips. It's real simple, you just get to the end and you just tie it off. Okay, now that you've mummified your dog and it's completely covered, it's, uh, it's time to get started with the felt. So I'm gonna, I mean, you can get it in any color it comes in, red, black, brown, light brown, but I have the most of this color, so I'm going to start with that, and I'm just going to, you can just kind of, you can't really pull it apart, you got to kind of just cut it, it doesn't really matter how you cut it, it's all going to look the same, so I just kind of start, now, you what you do when you put the needle into this is that you, you compact it, so you can't don't worry about it looking all lopsided or lumpy because you can always compact it down until it's flat. So, you just take it, that simple, take your felting needle, it's real sharp, this is when the uh, foam padding comes in, you need this, especially if you're working with it on your lap, do not skip the foam padding if you're working with it on your lap. Trust me. <laughs> anyway, all you do is you find out where the last little bit connected on and you literally just start going like this. If this seems tedious, stop now and go do something else because this is what you're going to do. So, yeah. 
Watch your fingers. You'll hit it. Eventually, I'm not going to lie, you're going to hit your finger. It's going to hurt really bad. It's just a fact. You know, you just get too into it. You think you have it down. You cut it close. Right through your finger. It hurts, but it's okay. Shh. Try not to bleed all over the dog. So, you just keep doing this. And now, right now, I'm basically just compacting everything down. Kind of giving this thing another base. Later, you can add detail like... Right here, along, along like the dog's shoulder. If you were, are just gonna, if you work in there and just do focus extra on this area, you can make a nice curve, and it'll add detail and depth and shadow effect to the dog. But right now, you're just gonna want to do this, and then you're probably gonna want to take a break because it gets a little boring, and then you come back to it later. You go, but as you can see now, I mean it's not popping off you can't really just pull this off anymore it's I mean if you really wanted to you could but it's pretty stuck on there now so that's it simple as that and you just keep going now that I've worked the first felt into the body it's time to move on to the legs now I know it doesn't look right it just kinda looks like padding it's fine when you go to do the legs you don't want to add too much padding otherwise your dog will have giant club feet so you just start with something small I know it doesn't look like much but you can always add more you can't see where you add more it blends right in so just kind of get this a little thicker and then just wrap it around just like you did with the felt cloth just kind of just get it on there might take, you know, if you mess up, you just gotta just unwind it and do it again. It's not that big of a deal. Might take a couple tries. Still does for me. So just wrap this around. You can spread the legs out. Remember the wire bends. You don't have to worry about it. You always bend it into different shapes. So get it on there. And just wherever there's a little excess, put it just up higher on the leg. You don't want funny looking legs. And then you just do the same thing they did with the body. Just kind of go throughout. Just kind of just working it into itself. And you can see you got kind of a fair amount of like fuzz, but that's fine. Just maybe just kind of just push together with your fingers, trying to kind of mat it and get it in there to where you want it. Set it across and just work it in. It's tedious, but it'll work. Another word of caution, if you're watching TV, don't look at the TV. You're better off listening to music. Because if you look up the TV, you will miss and hit your finger. And I can't stress that enough, how much it hurts, because the needle is barbed. So, it takes some chunks out. Okay, uh, coming back. Uh, I hit myself with the needle. Um, it hurts, but like I said, it happens, so you just gotta kinda deal with it and expect it. Don't expect it to happen, but know that it's gonna happen, if that makes any sense. But uh, I run to specify the, the head of the dog. Um, as you can see, I'm almost done covering it. I just have the hind legs and the tail, but uh, I'm working on the head right now. Um, it's going to look funny, no matter what. Um, right at this stage, anyway, we'll get it to look real in a, later. But it's going to look funny, kind of real plain and dull. Don't worry about ears. I'll show you how to make those. They get, they're kind of fun to make. Uh, ears, eyes, nose. We'll make all that in a minute. But, um, yeah, if the dog you're making has, like, scruff around its face, um, you can add that later. But for now, just make everything nice and tight. You can add detail and like kind of shag, shaggy dog style hair to it like later if you choose to. So just kind of keep packing everything up. You can make it nice and like tight by just concentrating all your pokes into one area. Um, but yeah, just keep going.